Hi, I'm Rich with Inside HPC. We're here at ISC 13 in Leipzig, Germany. And I'm here with Patrick from Millennia. Now, Patrick, Hi. I, I, I've been reading, good, how are you doing? I'm very good at right, you. All right. Well, I've been reading about, map, you know, the uh, in Millennia map. Mm -hmm. And of course, I know you guys from your debugger as well. How do right. these things work together? So basically what we've done is when we released Alenia Map, we have released a tool that is relying at 99% on the source code of Alenia Map. So all the building blocks in DDT uh, and Alenia Map are the same, about the scalable architecture, about the GUI, the configuration files, etc. So basically this is now a unified environment. And as you know, when we are developing an HPC application, everything is very linked together because uh, debugging, profiling are just two sides of the same problems really so being able to use a unified tool that works the same way that use you know everything is the same in both of them makes it very easy for the developers to fix any kind of problems if they are related to profiling to optimizing or to fixing bu bugs and resolving complex issues okay mm -hmm. well i understand you have a demo can we go through that yes of course okay. so with our new version of Alenia tools, what we've done is that we are unifying debugging and profiling activity together. Which means that when you're working, when you're developing an application, you will be profiling the code, you will find a problem, you will be able to debug this problem with DDT and vice versa. So when we want to profile an application with Alenia map, we just start map very easily. We ask the profiler to do the profiling for our code. So as you can see, it's the same graphical interface of, uh, as Alenia DDT. So we have our application. It is compiled using all the optimizing options that you dream of. No need to change anything with your binary files. And uh, when you're ready with this, you say to Alenia Map how you want to run the application with eight MPI processes. Click on Run. And Map in the background will generate an output file, which is extremely tiny. With, it will be generated with a very limited overhead, only 5% of the duration of the run. And very easily, you will be able to visualize this output within the GUI of Alenia Map afterwards. So Alenia Map records different types of metrics, gathers statistics, and will present those metrics within a timeline. So the metrics that are available are about MPI, the memory usage, the CPU, uh, but also the IOs, which is a new feature in Alenia DDT, Alenia Map 4.1. And with the statistics, we can, at, we can, at a glance, identify different patterns and different behavior of the application. So for instance, here we can see that there is a strange pattern. If we decide to select it, Alenia Map will immediately focus on the line of the codes, which are uh, the most interesting here. And basically, for this time slice, we are spending almost 50% of the time doing a square root in the loop, and 50% of the time doing an MPI all reduce, which means that the processes are waiting. So in terms of optimization, this is not very good. So with Alenia Map, we have identified the lines. We have identified a problem, which is that as the green uh, mean value is reducing across time, it means that the workload is reducing on the cluster. And as the workload is reducing, we are spending more time waiting. So we have identified a pattern in Alenia Map. We have identified a problem. Now the question is why this problem is happening. And this is where the debugging tool comes into the play. So we have our run, we have our application, we know that we have a problem on line 84, and what we do is that we start the same run, the same application, in the same context with Alenia DDT. So DDT starts, and if we will put a breakpoint on line 84, so we can go down there and we see line 84, so there is a breakpoint that has been created, and if we run the application, we know that all the processes have stopped, and from there we gather all the debugging information related to this situation in the code. And if we have a look at what's happening, we know that, as we said, there was a workload imbalance. So how is the loop created? So we have different levels in this loop, and those, va those variables that are used uh, for the loop are present in the local variables on the right. So we can see that the iterations variable is the same across all the processes. This information comes from the spark lines, so this is the line here. As the line is flat, it means that this value for this particular variable across our whole cluster is the same. So instantly we know that the problem doesn't come from here. On the second level we have the J variable. Once again the J variable is flat, but on the third level we can, what we can see is that uh, the J variable is moving uh, from 0 to PE and the value of PE, which is the upper limit of the loop, is different across all the processes. And we have a linear distribution, which means that process 0 will have value 0. And for the process 7, the value of PE is 7. So if we use the cross-process comparison, this is highlighted. 
So basically what happened here is that we used Alenia Map. Alenia Map told us there is a performance issue in your application. The performance issue comes from this loop on line 84 and that you have a workload imbalance in your application. To investigate further the problem and know where it actually comes from, you can use Alenia DDT that will give you all the information about the execution context and very simply you can fix the program. So here in our case, we just want to change this variable here and put something that is the same across all the different processes to fix the issue. So Alenia DDT and Alenia Map are two great tools that bring uh, very useful features that are complementary, profiling features, debugging features, and by using them all together within our unified environment, you can really slash the time to develop, this, the time to optimize your application, to reduce the problems, fix the bugs. So it's something very efficient.